Are you thinking about painting your home before putting it on the market? Well, let's take a look at what colors will help your home sell quickly and for the most money. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise Gerke, a real estate agent with Keller Williams here in Vancouver, Washington. You can find a new video here every Tuesday about buying, selling, and living in Vancouver, Washington. As you can see, I'm in the middle of painting my house and we decided after eight years of it taking abuse from the kids and from foster kittens, we decided to treat it to a little bit of a facelift. Now, when you are getting ready to sell your home, painting can add a lot of value to the home if it is done right. You wanna make sure to avoid those bright, bold colors like the bright purples, orange, uh, yellows. A lot of people have yellow kitchens. Avoid that. Um, red those red dining rooms that you all have out there, they need to go if you're getting ready to sell your home. Now, of course, if you're just painting for yourself, go crazy, do all the wild colors you want. It's your home. But if you're painting in order to sell and you want your home to sell quickly, uh, your best option is going to be nice neutral colors. Um, so, of course, gray has been very popular for the last 10 years, and it is still a very safe choice. Um, white is very popular. Um, it's, you know, it just is a clean palette for the buyers to look at when they come in. Um, but you want to avoid just like the stark white. There are many options of white out there, so take a look at all of them if you're choosing white. And then beige is making a bit of a comeback. So it's a very good neutral color to go with. And if you can't decide, do you want gray? Do you want beige? Go grayish. So that is a color that is becoming popular over the last few years. And of course, it's just a combination of gray and beige, but it's just nice and neutral. It's a clean palette and it makes buyers just really feel relaxed when they walk in the door. And it's best if you can paint the whole interior um, the same color. It just makes the house flow together. But if you just really have to have some variety, make sure the colors you are choosing all have the same undertone. So if you are choosing warm colors, make sure every room has that warm undertone. If you prefer the cool colors, make sure all the rooms have the cool undertones. And again, it just helps the rooms flow and so it's not as jarring when buyers go from one room to the next. So what kind of finish is the best? I think eggshell is really the best uh, for when you're painting your home to sell. It helps um, cover up any little flaws that might be in the walls and it absorbs the light and it's just really pleasing to the eye. And when you're painting, don't forget about the trim. A lot of people forget the trim and that really is the part of the wall that's taking the most abuse, getting the dirtiest. And when you're doing the trim, um, a nice satin or semi-gloss is usually good on trim. When you're looking at paint brands, you're gonna see a lot of brands out there and they're gonna go all the way from really inexpensive to you know, obviously more expensive and just get the best quality that you can afford. Uh, the name brands like uh, Sherwin-Williams, Miller Paint is very popular in our area because it's local. Um, there's Bayer, uh, what else do we have, Rada. So just get the, if you can get those name brand paints you're gonna probably save money in the long run. Most of those paint brands will only require one coat of paint, and they also just have a more consistent color if you have to go back and buy more paint later. Well, I hope you have found this information helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, or of course, you can always send me an email. But for now, I gotta get back to work. 
I'll see you later. Bye-bye.